Today we'll explain all the elements that go into designing an Earthship. In the first video of this playlist, we described why an Earthship is an architectural solution to save the planet. We explained why it is also a gateway to break free from the centralized systems that are governing our lives. Earthships are true tickets to freedom. So hit those like and subscribe buttons and we will show you how Michael Reynolds, the inventor of this building, showed us how to design it. 1. The Basic Module The Earthship is made up of one single module that can be stacked next to each other, behind one another on a sloped land, or on top of each other, but that will require a more professional study. We will discuss the way to organize the modules to build a complete self-sustaining house. But first, let us investigate what is a module. The module itself is a U-shaped space, or a room that is 18 feet wide and 26 feet deep. It is surrounded with three mass walls and a glass facade on the solar side. It has a skylight in the ceiling between the U-shape. To create even more thermal mass, Earth is burned up around the three main walls. The U-shape is often partially submerged in the Earth as well. The module can be smaller, but it should not be larger than the provided dimensions, else the thermal mass won't be as effective. The glass facade should be tilted at an angle perpendicular to the lowest sun rays during winter. The glass is placed at an offset distance from the three mass walls to create a passage with the glass house properties. 2. Combining the use now that we have a basic understanding of one module for an Earthship, it is time to look on how to make a home out of these U-shaped rooms. A. Straight rows. U's can be placed right next to each other, with rooms sharing the same thermal mass walls. The greenhouse will become the hallway to circulate from one U to the other. It also acts as a heating duct, since it is where the direct solar rays enter the house. B. Staggered rows. If needed, U's can be stepped back from one another. The distance between the modules has to collect the shadow created by the adjacent room. It is similar to the straight rows combination where the greenhouse is the main hallway of the home. C. Straight step on slope. Two U's can be put one behind and above the other on a sloped site. Each level can still be insulated by earth and can still have full height glass on the solar side. Many modules can be combined in this way, creating multiple columns and rows. Each row has its own greenhouse in front of it in order to grow plants. 3. The Services All house services can be located within the use. However, the author provided general guidelines for optimal results and least cost. The bathrooms of the Earthship should be located either at the sides of the solar facing glass wall or in its center. Since this is an off-grid concept and the aim is to reduce energy consumption, toilets should be submerged in sunlight and heat. It should not be hidden at the backs of the modules. The bathrooms located at the center of the greenhouse hallways can also serve in collecting gray water for the plants and to separate different wings of the house. The second consideration is for the house entrance, where it is best located on the east or west walls of the greenhouse. It should have an airlock to avoid any loss of heat during winter. Placing the entry or any other opening on the mass walls will greatly increase complexity and cost while reducing the efficiency of the thermal mass. Now that you have a general idea on how to make a layout for the Earthship, in the next video we will discuss structural foundations of this building, its orientation and reaction to nature elements, and we will discuss the materials used to make it a reality. Please let us know what you think of the Earthship concept in the comments below, and see you in the next one.